So, hi. So I'm gonna start to talk about this piece. I have two pieces in the show, so I'm sort of between two of them. Um, but this piece is Bounty. This is a, the newest piece that I've done, sort of, um, this year. So this is a person, large manifestation of it. It's a series of um, 30 slides, um, and they're actually based on a video, one second of video. Um, these are salt hills in Bonilla, and salt's been a part of my work for a while now. I've been um, videotaping things that have to do with salt, so I do sort of video work of the sea, for instance, um, images of trees, things that have been affected by salt. They sort of see salt as a sort of, um, sort of very symbolic of, of things that can occupy two spaces, so it corrodes and it also preserves depending on what it's in contact with. And so I like things that sort of have that sort of um, like high, sort of multiple positions. And so um, I found these hills in, in Bonaire. Um, my island used to actually, um, was colonized for producing salt. That's what the Dutch colonized it for. And so, but we don't have any remnants. And so a lot of my work too is sort of trying to create this sort of new archeology span for my island. And since salt was so key, you can't find it. Um, I happened to go to Bonaire and, and saw an old photo of these salt piles, and I said, you know, how old is this picture? Do they still exist? And they're like, yeah, the entire southern tip of the island is a salt-producing lake. And so um, I went and actually then documented this. And so a lot of my work has to do with time as well, time-based, video, sound, um, photography is also time-based. And so this is actually representative of one second. The whole series is actually seven seconds, so then it's 210 images. Um, for those who know or don't know, one second of video is actually made up of 30 frames, 30 individual frames of an image constitute one second. And so that's why this is technically one second, it's the 30. So if you were to look at from, you know, from the first image to the last image, is actually a passage of time, very little, like each one is a 30th of a second. Um, yeah, so that's, that's sort of um, where the heart of the piece is. The salt, um, I guess it was sort of tongue-in-cheek when I first did it because I, the previous piece to this that incorporated salt was, in, was an installation, a site-specific installation that, um, where I filled a gallery with six tons of rock salt and flooded the other half with uh, like a 40 by 20 foot reflecting pool that then reflected video. And so it was very sort of large and site-specific and just you know, slightly over the top. Um, and so I wanted to sort of come back, <laughs> bring everything back again, and sort of um, have it be this sort of more intimate experience, but still with more salt, technically. Um, there's more salt in this piece than there was in the installation. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of have these tiny images. I sort of played around with size, because um, the other photos are larger, they're like you know, um, 20, by 20, 20 by 21 inches. And I had been working in that sort of large photographic scale, um, and then, you know, every time I print a large print, I'd look at it, and I'd, mm, like it, and I'd see this little thumbnail that I'd printed out at one point on my computer, and I really liked the intimacy of it. And so, you know, light is, you know, so that's the size, and light being key to sort of photography, I don't know, seeing. <laughs> um, I wanted them to sort of glow and have a presence. Um, I really sort of, you know, if I had to look at sort of influences visually, minimalist, really sort of, like, I like minimalist work. And, I don't know if it's a response to growing up in the Caribbean where you have carnival and there's like lots of colors and there's a lot of stuff going on. And so, um, even as a child, I sort of like quiet and sort of um, quiet at moments. So, I don't know if it's just me sort of reacting to coming out of that space, as much as I love carnival, but you know, like, um, visually, my style tends to sort of reduce colors. And that's also in response to sort of, you know, occupying a tropical space when you come out of a you know, a country that's always associated with you know, tourism and escape and exoticism. And everyone thinks about the colors, and, you know. When you show art, but then, especially photography being so loaded, you show those images, people immediately are like, oh yeah, I need a vacation. Oh, it'd be great to go there. It's, <laughs> it's lovely. And so, in stripping the color, it's trying to strip that, also that baggage from the piece so that you sort of, the work can sort of exist, at, you know, even if it's just format of its, for its form, just for the, sort of simple beauty of it, you know, removing all that sort of um, media and baggage from sort of that tropical space as well. And so, 
I don't know if we, I don't know if we should walk over, but the other series is then sort of 16 large fo photos that are in the other room, um, and that's called the. Uh, and that's sort of like, I, I joke and say it's my contemporary piece because it actually, a lot of my images sort of deal with that historical artifact sort of um, you know, recreation. And this is very sort of, those images are very crisp and very sort of now. And um, that work is also based on the fact that I travel. <laughs> I travel so much between spaces. So it's, you know, it's about that negotiation of private and public space and, um, and documenting that. And so the images are actually, some are taken in St. Martin, which is home, and some were taken in Buffalo, which was my home at the time, um, and then some of me, um, sort of as the, the person that has to navigate those two sort of cultural spaces and having to readjust every time I went into a different one. So, you know, when I got to St. Martin, I talked too fast. Everybody was like, "Slow down! Why are you walking so fast? Why are you always on time?" Like you know, like the meeting's supposed to start at three. Let's go, right? And then you know, after a, a summer, I come back here and I feel like, oh. Oh yeah, I'll get there sort of, like okay, whenever. And so I have to sort of just readjust my clock. So it had to do with that, those kind of like quiet personal rituals and that for readjustment. So, but I saw you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So because I can cut my short, and then you can get to talk to him too. So while we're waiting on you, and does anyone have questions? I have a, I have a question. I have a comment. Have a question. Uh, I think I think what what I find interesting about it is is, is this. Minimalist sort of uh, construction that you have, but references this right. monumental like, uh, environment and structure. When you think of minimalism, you think of it as being this huge form stripped down. So I, I thought that was kind of interesting to sort of, uh, take off on that. Uh, the, the other question, I have a question, but it's related to how do you translate, how do you go back and forth between the video and the image? It's still image. Separate them uh, yes and no. I mean, the, the fact that these are all individual video stills that have then been put onto 35 millimeter slides. I don't know. I, I sort of try to move fluidly between them um, because I sort of work with all these different types of media, like even the painting. It's, it, for me, it's sort of what am I trying to say and what's, try, what's the piece trying to say and how it's trying to say it. Um, this is also, I've also shown this with video, and that's why sort of they were backlit at the time, because having to have the space dark and have this video projection, then they sort of created this line on the side, so, you know, they needed to coexist with the darkness that you needed, and so I wanted to have them occupy those spaces, but, you know, I try to move with, between the two, I don't really necessarily see, um, yeah, there's no, you know, what I end up shooting on video. I mean, visually, they end up looking different sometimes, just, they're just two different sort of um, visual styles. But I think part of, you know, that whole idea of sort of having to specialize and sort of be fixed with one particular style is really sort of like, you know, kind of a Western yeah. art way of like, okay, if you do photos, you have to do photos. And, you know, you know coming from a small island, you know, like, St. Martin's like 36 square miles. And like, they joke and say, it's like Central Park's like, you know, <laughs> my country, right? And so you have to do everything. You have to do, like, you have to be able to do a little bit of, of, of everything. And so that whole idea of specializing, you just couldn't exist, you know. And so I guess it just sort of translated also in, into the practice. You know, take a liberty that way. <laughs>